Hi, Eve here and today I'm in Halifax while well, I'm here to meet David. Now on trucks we've seen some whoppers haven't we in our time but I think David's got the daddy of all time. What am I talking about? I'm talking about his truck and what a whopper it is David. Hi. What a massive truck. That's right it's uh, a 250 ton MAN. Yeah. 600 horsepower. Good grief. Well, it's not really this part that I'm interested in. It's your trailer. That's the most interesting bit, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. Let's go and have a look. Take okay. me down. Let's look. What, um, <coughs> what we have here is uh, what they call a term as a modular trailer. And what does uh, that mean? Well, basically, it's a big Meccano set. Yeah. And, and what you actually do is you build the trailer to suit the load. So, for, in, for instance, here we've got a 140 ton casting and we've had to assemble enough axles to be able to spread the load uh, accordingly. How many axles has this one got then? This is 10 axles at the moment right. with, with a four axle tractor. How many axles can it have at a time? As many as required really. It, like you say, you design the trailer to, build, uh, to carry the load. Right, so you could carry anything really? That's right, that's right. What's the most weight that you could carry? Uh, we've uh, we've been carried, carrying upwards of 500 tonnes on site and that sort of thing. What's this one? Uh, this one's 140 tonnes and it's six metres wide. So we have to get special dispensations to be able to move that on the road. Uh, we do the sort of the the uh, route surveys and okay. get street furniture removed and things like that. <laughs> it's all part and parcel of moving the big stuff. Yeah, and police escorts, of course. Police escorts, yes, that's correct. Of course, yeah. So what is that exactly that's on the back there? It does, I, I can't make it out. It's a grinding ring. It's going to be shipped over to America, but at the moment it's going back to Sheffield for some uh, alteration work. Right, and how long will it take you to get this to Sheffield? Uh, well, we're proposing to set off on 7.30 Sunday morning, the police escort's coming for us. Right. Uh, we're hoping to make Sheffield by Sunday evening. So you need your butties and your flats? You could say so. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. Yes. And what about suspension on this? Is there any extra because of the weight? Yeah. Every uh, module is hydraulic uh, suspension and every axle steers. Right. And so it helps with the turning circles in order to negotiate some of the roundabouts and that sort of thing. Because uh, not only do you have uh, just rows of axles, but if you have a certain size uh, vessel or uh, engineering piece, yeah. you, you can insert a bed attachment so that it, uh, it's, it helps to sort of uh, carry the load and, and spread the weight. Do you have to have lots of training to drive a, a truck like this with especially a, a, a large load like that on the back? Yes, I mean the, the drivers have got to have a certain aptitude uh, and that's, that's key to getting a good driver, he's somebody that's nice and steady, thoughtful and can plan and see where he's on the road and what he's, what he's got to do and anticipate the other traffic users as well. And you say he, but you've no women drivers? I have no objection to women drivers. But you've got one here today. Well, if you want to have a go can in I? the big rig, you can help yourself. Do you think I'm going to be able to do it? At 230 tonnes, easy. Excellent, and it just goes to prove that boys never grow out of the toys, the toys just get bigger. From me, Eve, till next time, take care, bye-bye.